Hey, 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 it's Kelsey Ray coming at you live from Charleston. As y'all hopping on, say hi. Drop a one if you're watching live and drop a two if you're watching the replay. I'm going to show you guys the dinner that Eric just made us for his birthday. Um, <laughs> he's the cook in the house and um, it's really good. It's really filling. A lot of food. Tastes just so amazing. And it's under 700 calories. And if you're new here, it's, probably, it's right at seven, Eric said. So if you're new here, drop new in the comments because you may or may not know this, but Eric and I are doing, we're on a shredding journey. So we're just trying to um, shred down. So get a lot of body fat off um, and then build some muscle. So if you need some help doing that yourself, you can drop help in the comments. So I wanted to show you guys this dinner because I'm truly blown away by how good it is. Um, I'll show you basically the only thing that you need to know is like, you have to know how to calculate your calories when you're consuming something. So sometimes a lot of the time we're Googling like how many calories are in half an avocado. And we have a little scale that I got from Amazon. I think it might be linked to my Amazon storefront. Um, oh, and by the way, really quickly, you guys share this out, share it out. So tap that share button. And once you do that, comment the word shared. I'll put your name into my weekly giveaway. If you would like the chance to win some free ketones, but also you're helping me reach more people. And I appreciate that. So thank you so much. Hey, Jen. Hey, Brittany. Hey, Sherilyn. Hey, Asia. Hey guys, what's up? Y'all drop a one in the comments because you're watching this live. So it's basically um, a butter shrimp pasta. I'm going to show you the noodles that we're using because I think this is the most important part and this is what helps to make it low calorie. Um, Brittany, thanks for sharing. I appreciate you. Hi, Ashley. I'm sitting by some dirty dishes. We're getting ready to finish eating dinner um, and then winding down for the weekend. I'm resetting, doing my laundry, um, which is a pain in the ass, but needs to be done so but i needed to go live because i go live every single day so if you're new make sure you follow me so these are the noodles that um we used in barilla yeah. whole grain thin spaghetti okay so what did you use just a serving or two yeah yeah so guys you just look on the box it's really easy. it's really easy yeah teach them how to it's read that it's so easy you just look at the servings up here of course it says serving size it'll give you servings per container we're just looking for serving size a serving size was 56 grams. I calculated that. Um, and so that would be 180 calories if you weighed that on a scale. So 50, and again, this needs to be not raw. This needs to be cooked because we're eating it in a cooked state. So I cooked the noodles and then weighed them. Um, and I wanted to do two servings. So you would just do 56 times two. That would give you the grams that you would need for the calories, which is 180 plus 180 is what, 360? Something like that. Yeah, I think that's what it came out to. Um, and then I put that to the side. And then I did the same thing for the shrimp. You know, you look on the pack and see what a serving size is. I doubled the serving size for the pasta and the shrimp. Um, that, we were still under 700. And then so because of that, I wanted to make a sauce. And then I did the same thing for the sauce, which I did a butter garlic sauce. And again, you'll have to weigh the servings. It, it's kind of... the. The hard part is like weighing everything out okay, at first. Pick it up, baby. But when you do it, just pick it up, put it back in your bowl. You got it. Like what we do is like we'll figure out the yes, meals. Yes, hold on, and I then can we'll help. Write you. everything down as far as like how many grams we need, and then it'll tell me the calories and the total. So this was seven hundred right on the dot for everything. If that's helpful, give me a thumbs up and make sure you guys share this out and comment the word shared. Hey, Alyssa, what's down, up, girl? Right? But here's the thing. Listen, once you do this for a couple of weeks, yeah, you get your become, meals down. Write it down. You, what, baby? And then you're set. You become more aware of how many calories you actually eat when you're not counting calories. And the whole goal here is it's not to create a lifestyle where you're restricting yourself and you're never eating good foods and you're never eating healthy or you're never eating, um, you know, the sweets and stuff or whatever. It's not to restrict yourself forever. It's just to become mindful. We're doing it to shred fat off, our, off of our body. But if you need to do it for a few weeks to actually become more mindful of how much food you're actually consuming, because unless you're burning two to 3,000 calories a day, I can promise you that you're absolutely in a surplus. So you're probably overeating, which is probably you're not being able to lose weight, if that even made sense. But this pasta is really filling and it's really good. So make yeah, that sure that y'all are following. Um, it was really good. The next time I cook something, I will, which is like never lately. It's fine. The next time I cook something, I will go live and show you guys like yeah. while I'm cooking it. But this is really good. We have a lot of different recipes that we do on a daily basis. Like our breakfast, we t we like kind of teeter between three different things. But we wrote it down and we kind of have a general idea of like everything. So it's really, uh, it's really easy to 
get it planned out. Right. So once you figure it out, you calculate it. Get yourself a scale, okay? Start learning. Once Thanks, you learn Robert. something, yeah, thank you. Whitney, I miss you too. Once you guys learn it one time, you'll know it forever. And that's the beauty of like actually being healthy. So if you guys need help on, because like I said, we're on a shredding journey, shredding fat off of our body, building muscle, just trying to feel our best and look our best. If you're in that realm of wanting some help with that, just drop help in the comments and we can help you out. What do you um, want, baby? But this pasta is really fire. It's Eric's birthday today. So y'all tell him happy birthday. Thank y'all. I, I mean, I literally got a lot of happy birthdays on her post and my post so thank y'all so much so what's up baby what you need <laughs> she's funny you're by yourself i wish i could show her but she's hilarious so don't forget to tap that share button comment below oh yeah i used cheese too we were able to yeah. use cheese butter but you gotta weigh it out if you don't yeah. You'll go over very quickly. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully that helps a lot. If you watch me live, I'll go live with things that we're eating so that you can actually eat them too. You just have to figure out the amount of calories that you need or that you'd like to be at. We're doing 1,400 a day right now. Basically, we're eating a 700-calorie uh, breakfast, 700-calorie um, dinner. Sometimes yeah. I'll take from my breakfast and dinner and I'll eat like a lunch. A but it's it's kind of like whatever works for you. Katie, thanks for sharing. I'll put your name into the giveaway. But I find that um, if I'm if I'm like at home and not moving, I need to have like three different times that I'm eating because I get hungry about two or three. But overall, a 700 calorie meal is actually pretty filling if you have food that is nutrient nutritious Correct. to your body. It actually will fill you up. Like I I've like this is. A little bit more than half, but I'm pretty full right now. And I could stop eating, but I'm going to keep eating it because it's really good. Yeah, you got you to gotta make your And I also have, you also, when you're doing this calorie thing, you also have to make sure that you're, like, not going too far under. If you're building muscle and you're working out. So, I don't know. If that was helpful, just share it out. Type in the comments where it's shared. It's Eric's birthday today, and he made us dinner. But, um, I'll give you a surprise later. <laughs> Yeah. So, anyways, hi Tina, Lauren, Brittany, hello you guys, hi Natalie, drop, drop her one in the comments because you're catching this live, um, but I wanted to go live, I go live every single day, I have been live every day for a while now, so I'm pretty proud of myself and I didn't want to break that, and I just try to give you guys as much value as I can, no matter what it's about, like dieting, exercise, business, money, social media, I don't know, just whatever's on my brain that I feel Health like could help wealth. you, help is wealth, baby, okay? Um, Callie Ray's a hot yeah, she's damn mess right now. She just... But, like, literally, if you want to take this serious, all you got to do is buy a scale. Yes. The first thing I think do. it's linked to my uh, Amazon storefront, and if we've, it's not... We've used and abused this. <laughs> we actually need a better one. Yeah, we're going to get a better one, but, like... It makes it thing. so easy. It does. And, guys, you got to... Like, once you do it, like I said, you got to write it down. Just write it down. Then you got it. Then you... Mm -hmm. it's, it's there. Put it in your phone. What you, whatever you got to do. But it helps a lot when you figure out a meal that you like. You don't have to. Here's the thing, though. You do not have to stop eating the things that you love. No. We're literally However, pasta, you do need to know that if you love eating bread in the morning, you're going to take up a lot of calories by eating that bread. Yeah. Whereas you could replace it with protein and be fuller longer throughout the day versus eating that and then being hungry a few hours later. So... It's like just the more you know, right? Knowledge is only power when it's used. Yeah, eyeballing stuff doesn't work. It only, it'll get you so far. And it's so, it's dangerous. It's, it is dangerous. It's dangerous. That's a good word for it because it's very dangerous. Because like. You probably might be over consuming think? or under consuming. That's, that's what happened. I mean, that's kind of like from our experience doing this is like. Girl. I'll get her. That's it's fine. Like, it's like what, what we thought what we were eyeballing is way off. <laughs> yeah, literally. So, Eloise, thank you for sharing. I appreciate you. Thank y'all for the happy birthdays. I was weighing we. <laughs> what? That's not how to scale. Weighing we. <laughs> That's funny. That's uh, what I said that in, at the hotel. <laughs> we took we took the scale we were, with us on this trip. And literally. We, and we took it downstairs because we were gonna weigh out the the eggs and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but. Anyways, the eggs were mixed with something else. Yeah, and we just kind of limited our breakfast. We made it super small. So who knows if we got all of our calories in today. I don't know. But it's better to be under when you're cutting than it is to be over. So just go on the safe side. They're like 10 bucks at Walmart. I love that. Yeah, I, they're pretty cheap. And you get them on Amazon too. 
Yeah, so use a scale, learn how to read the labels. Maybe I'll do a, like a more specific, give me a thumbs up if y'all would like a more specific live where I teach you kind of like how to read the label and like actually show you on the scale how to do it. That probably is will be something I'll go live with tomorrow. I don't know. Um, because I've learned a lot through this. I've learned actually that more most humans are over consuming food and it's a tragedy. Yeah, it's really easy. Like we, Kelsey's talked about it before, probably on previous lives, but like snacking. Mm -hmm. Like I would always catch myself like snacking. I don't know if y'all do this, but I used to snack a lot in between like cooking. It's terrible. It adds, and then at nighttime? It adds up so quick. And all that food you would eat at night? Yeah. Well, that too. Bad habit. But it's just like, you know, you just don't think about it. You're hungry, you eat. Yeah. But you don't know how your your body runs off calories. And that's what it is. So, if you're having a hard time with it, drop help in the comments and we can help you. What you want, but, honey? Oh, it's okay. Oh, did you, did you spill it? You it's okay. It it's like really cold water. Here, I'll clean it. Here. It's no big deal, honey. I'll get it. She is all in one lately. But she's cute. She's so freaking cute. Anyways, yeah. Make sure you share this out. Type in the comments the word shared. I'll put your name to my weekly giveaway. Go to the link in the bio and where it says uh, get updates here. It's a Telegram channel. You can join it. A snack. A snack? What kind of snack? You did. You ate a lot of food. She ate noodles. Here, let's see. What was she she's moping around. The Telegram channel in my bio. I will. Put, I always put my lives in there, so you'll get to know when I go live. Every single live, you'll get to know if you win the giveaways. You will get to know um, sales and deals and all kinds of things that go on. So, huh? What is it? No, give her one of those. Um, she can have one of those chocolate popsicles. But she's got to probably sit down because it's really messy. So, or she has popsicles, does she? Ask her if she wants her popsicle. Okay, never mind. Why did I just get a notification from DoorDash? Yeah. I ordered Crumble. Just kidding. The food is really addicting. And it can be really hard. But I promise you, you will feel better if you just don't eat that bullshit. So anyways. Robert, you can do handstand push-ups, bro. That's, that's tough, dude. It's actually really good. Yeah, that is really good. That's amazing. It's basically like overhead pressing your own body weight. It really is. Hmm. Hmm. That seems really difficult. I don't think I could do that. Can you hold yourself up? 190 up? pounds? And like you just touch your head and then press yourself back up? Ugh, no. no. Could not do that. So kudos to you because that seems actually pretty um, impressive. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get off of here and finish eating and then go finish my laundry. And so, thanks for all the birthday wishes for Eric. Um, get your traps real good. Definitely. I know. You guys sit right there and eat it okay because it's messy. No. No, baby. Why would we, why would we be mad? <laughs> I love you. Yeah, chocolate it does meal. taste like it's like a chocolate brownie. She's Callie's too big. She's huge. Um, I don't post them on social media anymore. Yeah, it has chocolate in it. Um, but she's gonna be three in May, so two and a half, mm -hmm. something like that around. But she's getting so freaking big, and she talks like she's five. You said she turns in June. What did I say? Did you say she turns three in May? Oh, she was due in May. Oh. <laughs> Her birthday's in June. We gone. We got four kids. Yeah. How many kids y'all got? We birthdays. <laughs> Literally. No, I mean, it takes a minute. No, for some reason, because Callie was due in May, so I she always... She was, and it's wrote, I, I wrote that down on my uh, calendar, and it still says that, Callie's due date. And her little ass stayed in the womb until 42 weeks. That was part of your power, too. Part of my power? Yeah. What does that mean? Like, weren't you mindful of trying to go a little over? Yeah. I wanted her to bake as long as possible. 
I mean, I know it's... They're the safest in your body. Decision, but, I mean, if you're doing it naturally, it almost... You do have a say-so. Yeah, like, it's not... It shouldn't ever be anybody's decision but that baby's. When that baby is ready, the baby will come. So, I know there's complications and stuff, so... Definitely. Anyways. I need to go off here because we haven't seen her all weekend. So, anyways, thanks, guys. Love y'all. Thanks for sharing. Appreciate you. And I will see you live tomorrow.